What is up guys, it's the Nimim here, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So, Isaac. I said I would do him, so I'm gonna do him. Alright. Yeah, Isaac. Gotta make it to the, uh, the lamb. That's where we must make it. Oh boy. So the lamb is, of course, much harder to get to than the blue baby, but the blue baby fight is actually harder, and oh my god, that's an amazing first item. So I don't need to make the boss rush, so I'm fine taking my time and shooting all the fires. And we're just going to pick up Mom's Contacts, which is a freeze effect to our tears. This is already turning out to be a pretty good start. Unless this is like all we get this run, which would kind of suck, but I hope it doesn't come to that. Hopefully I can also get a soul heart this floor. And uh, maybe there's an item in that cursed room to make me even more happy than I already am about this wonderful start to this wonderful run. Alright, double spider, you're done. Coin. Two black hearts ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Do we have Curse of the Maze? Yeah, we do. So I was about to say, I'm pretty sure that red, that half red heart that I wanted was in a different room. And it was. So I wasn't wrong. Alright. Trying to stay away from the black spiders because they explode like that. There we go. Thank you, contacts. You are great. Blowing up those containers can get us some money and maybe even the quarter if we get lucky. But I wouldn't keep my hopes up because it rarely ever happens. Let's look at a cube of meat for this boss fight, which is actually pretty good. I like cubes of meat. At least the first and the second one, not the third and fourth one. I don't know if we've gotten Meat Boy and Bandage Girl yet, though. I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten Bandage Girl. I know that for a fact, actually. But have we gotten Meat Boy? Which is getting four cubes of meat. Or four bandages. Four balls of bandages. And, by the way, cube meat isn't guaranteed this fight. It could be ball bandages. So, one of the two. But they're pretty much the same item, except ball bandages is a little bit better. Because if you get it upgraded, you can get charm tiers. But we didn't get it, so. Cube meat's fine. They're pretty much the same item, and god damn it. Of course I'll get Curse of the Blind on my first Devil Room floor. What else would happen? Ow. And uh, that means the D6 is practically useless this floor. Because I can't tell what my items are, so I don't know if I should reroll them. The only time I can see myself re-rolling something if I pick is if I pick up a spacebar item. In which case, I'm re-rolling it. Like I said. So we did get the small rock unlock, I believe it was last run. So we can find the small rock and tinted rocks now, which is really nice. And that means that this tinted rock right here could actually contain the small rock. That would be really good. Of course, you wouldn't be able to see what the small rock looks like because I have Curse of the Blind, but, you know, I'll make do if I get it. Please. Darn. Soul Hearts are good, though. Help me keep the Devil Room that is going to be pretty much useless. What is this? D20. Well. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okie doke, then. So we get Mom's Knife. What is that, two runs in a row? Even if I didn't want it, which I I probably would have taken it, because I still have to complete stuff as Isaac, but even if I didn't want it, there's nothing I could do about it, because um, Curse of the Blind and stuff. The fact that I couldn't see my items. So yeah, don't be mad at me for that. Not my fault. Not entirely. If I would have seen it was Mom's Knife, I still would have picked it up, but that's besides the point. Let's look at Pin here. Nice, easy boss with the knife plus, uh, well, the knife, really. Old bandage and unfilled HP up. And at least now I don't have to worry about taking any deals with the devil on a Curse of the Blind floor because I didn't get any. Tell pulls that. Tell pulls? Tell pills that kind of sucks. Because my devil room is probably not going to be there when I get back. So, yeah. 
No reason to go to the shop this floor because I can't see any of the items. But I just got like 13 cents, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Because um, I can donate, and donating is good, and that's what I should probably do with all my money this run. Because I have uh, Mom's knife, pretty set. Well, never mind. Never mind that. I'll pick up the soul heart, and then I'll be on my way. So donation machine just jammed. No more donations this run. I had so much to give. Oh, it's still here. Well, hey, that's nice. I'm pretty sure there were two health up pills in this room over here, so I'm gonna get back for them. And I don't have to make the boss rush, so I should be fine. If we happen to get Guppy this run, that would suck, because Guppy does not work with a knife, but then again, Guppy is flight. So, that's a benefit. Alright, can we do it one more time? Alright, can we get out? Hey, we did it. Cool. Two free health up. Huh. That was that was pretty good. We're almost at a reroll, so even if we spawn next to an item room, then uh it's good. Good stuff going on here. Curse of the Labyrinth, that kinda sucks. Because now we lose a devil room chance, and I probably won't find an item room room until like the very last bit of the floor. Which is usually my luck with uh, the D6 plus Curse of the Labyrinth. Alright, stop your spider spawning business. Balls of Steel's good. Plus two soul hearts. Really nice. Come on, give me the item room. I don't... I, I don't want to do this right now. Alright, watch out for that. Joker is a devil room teleport, so if we don't earn it this floor... I can sure as hell teleport to it, and I will, if I need to. Probably only if I need to, though, because earning deals with the devil, or probably deals with the angel now, because I didn't get to take a deal with the devil, my first devil room, are good. I mean, deals with the angel are all... deals with the angel are a lot worse, but that's besides the point. So thank goodness we don't have Curse of the Blind this floor. Because of course we already have a curse, which is Curse of the Labyrinth. So I don't think I don't think we can get Curse of the Blind and Curse of the Labyrinth. Because if we could, that would suck. Because Curse of the Blind is the worst, in my opinion. I hate it. Can't see your items. Can't see what you're doing with your life. Ow. Darn. Dang. Come on. You know you want to open up. There you go. Two more keys will get me into both the item rooms, assuming I find them. Which, I mean, I will. I'll find them, just probably not quickly. So I can throw this diagonally. Just very iffy. There we go. I'm trying to stay out of their way. There we go. That was good quality throws there. So I'll go to the shop just to use my rerolls. And it probably won't even have anything that I can reroll in it. No, it does. That was a lie. Oh, black candle would be really nice. Hopefully I get enough money to go get that. Maybe. Penny. Always good. There's both my item rooms, so that's nice. Tough Love's Love does nothing with a knife, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not going to take that. That's Bob's Rotten Head, it's a spacebar item that I don't want. Oh, didn't expect you to split into two there. So I really like a bomb right now. That Tinted Rock is very tempting. Very tempting indeed. Excuse me, excuse me. Here's our bosses, so I can, I can do both of them, and then I'll get a reroll. Ow, that was very dumb. I was playing it very unsafe there. So we get little Chad for that, and I should probably pick that up because I never have before. But I'll leave it in case I want to reroll it, but I probably don't. There we go. Good stuff. So we did not earn the Devil Room, which actually 
which is actually really weird. Let's teleport to it. It's another red chest room. That kind of blows, like a lot. Oh, that was useful. Very useful. Thanks, game. Fuck you. So I'm gonna reroll Bob's Rotten Head first, because it is a spacebar item. And pick it up, just make sure I have. Check for the secret room, because why not? Figured it wouldn't be there, but, you know, had to check. Oh, no. Bob's Rotten Brain. Man, not being very kind to me here. I don't want any of your Bob items. Like, any of them. I don't even care if it's the... Like, Bob's bombs. I don't want that. I'm not talking about Bobby bombs, I'm talking about, like, bombs. The poison bombs one. I don't want that either. I mean, I'd take it if there's nothing else I could do about it, but... I don't want it. So there's our black candle, which is really nice, which means... We don't get any more cr yeah, floor curses for the rest of the run, and we get a black heart. I'll pick it up later, if I remember, which I hopefully do. I really hope I don't forget it. But I probably will, so don't assume that I won't. Two of hearts doubles my red heart. Can not containers doubles my red heart health. Two spades doubles my keys. So I should definitely take this with me. I don't have any keys, and uh, keys are good. So I probably only have one reroll left this floor, and I'll use it on the. Bob's rotten brain. Because that... I mean, I'll take tough, tough love. Even though I'm pretty sure it does nothing with a knife. But I absolutely will not take the rotten brain. Because that sounds like a horrible idea. Hey, let's go pick it... Let's go pick up the candle right now. The black candle. It is not the normal candle. It is the black candle. So now we can't get any more floor curses. Of course, we uh, usually it removes the curse of the floor that you're on, but you can't exactly remove Curse of the Labyrinth, so... Sure, take a huge speed up. Why not? Yeah, you can't exactly remove Curse of the Labyrinth and have everything stay the same. It doesn't really work like that. Since the floor's already generated. There's not really much you can do about it, so... Oh, well. It's okay. It's like wander under the bridge. The bridge. The bridge. And that was the worst accent I think I've ever done in my entire life. Wow. I took a full heart of damage in that room. That's unacceptable. Now time to take another full heart of damage. Guppy's head. One to the way to being guppy. Man, I really wish I had another reroll right now, but I don't. So darn. What that spacebar item does is it spawns three or two to five kamikaze flies every time you use it, and it's a one room charge. So it's really good, but D6 is, you know, better. Like always. D6 is better than almost any other item in the game. So Tough Love is normally a tooth shot which is affected by luck and uh... it will shoot teeth that do either two or three times your damage it's really good normally but i don't think it does anything with the knife so not much going on there All right, i'll go to the curse room because why not worth two black hearts pretty nice Replacing my two soul hearts that I have. I don't need to blow up those fires, because, um... Yeah, I don't... I don't need soul hearts right now. I mean, not really. I could use half a soul heart, but... Wouldn't be very beneficial. Be, like, minorly beneficial, at best. Alright. Bunch of money and some... and a key. That's good. What two spades does is it doubles your keys, so uh, with my current one key, it would double it to two, but that's not good, because I'd rather just use this key, and then uh, 
Because if you use it when you have zero keys, then you get two already. So you're just wasting a key if you do it when you have one. Alright. There you go. Get a D6 charge, not be able to use it for the next, like, hour. Getting hit a lot. I guess that's uh, the cockiness that comes with Mom's knife. Oh, at least I killed that guy without, you know. Oh, I killed him over the rock, is what I was trying to say. Can't take that. I can take that, but I don't want it. So I'll leave it for now. I rerolled technology which would change my tears into laser tears, but it's overwritten by Mom's Knife, so it's pretty much useless. No, it's not pretty much. It's useless. I rerolled that into the Ankh, which would respawn me as Blue Baby should I die. I also don't want that, because why would I ever need that in my life? Okay, well, I'm getting cornered in like usual in this room. There we go. I should probably keep in mind that I don't have the goat head, so I should try to avoid taking red heart damage. And I I need to get two more charges before I go to the boss. Yeah, this is Necropolis one. Right, why did I do that? Oh, that was dangerous and dumb, but I did it. All right. Hopefully there are two more rooms that I can do. Maybe? Please? Please? Wow. R I really didn't get a re another reroll this floor. That's amazing. Oh, I have the I have the challenge room. Never mind. I'll get another reroll, re -roll, but just barely. That's really surprising. None of those are fighting rooms. All right. Let's do this. Okay then. Okay then. Taking this. Packed. Damage up. Tears up. Two soul hearts. Gimpy. Chance to give me a soul heart when I... Uh... When I do stuff. When I get hit. Yeah. And a chance to for enemies to drop a half red heart when I kill them. Alright. Cool. Range up. Pretty. It's a thing. I don't. I don't know what to say about it. Darn. Thought that could be worth it, but it wasn't. Ow. That was dumb. Uh, where am I going, boss? Right. Oh. Okay. Shouldn't be that bad. Oh. Apparently, I can't hurt it when it's. And it's like that. When it's frozen. Oh. Brother Bobby into Sister Maggie. You know, not items that I want. Should have used that reroll in the item room, but I didn't. I should have picked up the Onk, actually, now that I think about it, because I was what was in the item room. Alright. Where are you going to show up? I'm waiting for you. This is the mom floor, so I should not go into the boss until I've finished everything that I want to. And even though I've been like full clearing and doing everything that I can possibly do to get re-rolls out of the floors and such, I'm still at like 17 minutes, so... Thanks to this knife that I got here. Alright. Oh, pretty well. Eh. Can't afford that. I need to save my key for the item room. Hey, come back here. Another bomb. That's good. I could open the chest because I have this two of spades. I should probably definitely do that now that I think about it. Because there's not much use for your keys in the end game, especially when you're going to um, the dark room and, uh, the lamb.
Okie doke. That was a good room. Puberty does nothing, so not big deal whatsoever. This is a nice fight. Normally it's very painful and annoying, but it's nice that I have a knife. Those things are much less painful with a knife. Alright. Fortunately didn't get the item, so I couldn't re-roll anything. But I'll find I'll find something to re-roll soon, maybe. Hopefully. Well there's a the boss that I can't go to. Because um stuff. So it's the mom fight. I can't exactly go to the mom fight and feel good about myself because I skipped the item room and stuff. Not today, sir. Hey, there's a shop and the item room. Just what I needed. Item room contains Robo Baby 2.0, which I haven't picked up, but I don't want. Let's see what's in the shop. Fanny pack. Which I'll just, I guess I'll just take it. Chance to drop something when you get hit. Or baby 2.0. It's a baby that uh, follows you around, or it follows your arrow key movement. It'll randomly shoot at things. Really poor. I think it's like a piss poor item. I really hate it. Alright. Hey, long range. Long range wreck chub. That was so unbelievably dumb. Oh well. I was sure it was gonna go down sooner, so my bad. I have an okay amount of health, so I'm not that worried about it. But I should probably start getting worried pretty soon. Because I'm gonna start taking full red hearts of damage on the next floor. That is not good if I'm taking this much damage. I should wait. Ah, <sighs> jeez. So we can have the arcade right here. No donation machine. Nothing I really want from this. Honestly, we don't have that good of a setup. Yeah, we have the knife, but uh, we've only gotten like three damage ups, and they were all pretty minor. Believe me, three damage ups is not bad at all, but like. I could be doing much better. Oh, that was nice. Take the negative. Be sure to take the negative. And then take fear shot, because that's a damage up and a fear shot. Dark matter, whatever. And then don't worry about goat head, because I really don't care that much. I don't want to gamble my health away to goat head, because I only have one devil room left. Technically two, but technically also one. Because only one of them has items in it. Wow, I did that. I really did that. I'm dumb. Excuse me, can you... Thank you. Uh, I'm horrible at this room, but that damage I took in here was inexcusably bad. Like, just awful. So those skull heads can actually kill you. I mean, hurt you when uh when they're still dying which is something to note but all you have to do to avoid that is not run into them when the, in, during their dying animation yeah probably not a good idea to use pills this late in the game but I'll still do it every time don't you worry alright you wiggle worm no <laughs> I'm already having enough trouble shooting my knife straight. Nope. I saw you. Don't think I didn't. That's a lot of stuff that's going on. Cool, that worked. I'm proud of myself. 
Whew. Alright, I really wish I could get some more soul hearts, but I can't see that happening. Easily. There you go. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell was that? Pin, Jesus. That was horrifying. Don't ever do that to me again. Oh my god. You had your head, but you didn't have your body. And then you had your tail as well. That was fucking weird. Jump scare freaking pin here. Alright, keep the knife close to me in this room. I, I always seem to take damage against these guys, which is really weird, because it should be easy peasy. Wow, I almost did it again. But, it's not like... Because when you're throwing your knife, you're completely... I don't even want to talk about it. You're completely unprotected. And uh, you get hit like that, and you feel horrible about yourself. Because you're about to die, and you have, you've had mom's knife since basement one. Basement two. Cellar two, actually. Ah, oh, jeez. Let's hope I can get some freaking health sometime soon. Oh, death. Wonderful. That's cool. Another cube of meat. I should probably just take that. Makes my little guy shoot for me. Not that beneficial. I should have re-rolled it now that I think about it. That was dumb. I need health. Badly. Oh, great. Just a short little burst of the knife. I'm trying things here. Picked up the health without realizing it, but oh well. Wasn't really that concerned about my negative activating, because it doesn't really do much. Alright. Oh, womb to boss, where art thou? That was really close. I wish I had luck up. Because then I could be actually freezing stuff frequently. But I don't, and I'm not. As in, I don't have luck up, and I'm not freezing things, like, frequently. Enough. Frequently enough, I should say. Dang, this was such a promising run, and then I just ruined it with my stupidity. It's not. The run's not over yet by any means, but still. Would've been so much better. I gambled all my health. Ooh, that's nice. Hey, good job, Ruby Baby 2.0. Actually making yourself useful for once. But not really, because I could've just done that myself with a knife. Because those mimic enemies don't shoot at you when you throw your knife, so... Pretty easy. Gotta kill that guy. That's like my top pri priority in this room. He's actually really annoying. Alright, arcade. That's nice. Darn. I was hoping for a fortune teller so I could maybe get some soul hearts. But there wasn't a fortune teller for me to get soul hearts in. So I was disappointed. Well, okay. I don't really care that much. Half heart interval is really not that important with negative, because all the negative does is it's a, um, it's an effect that uh, does. It's like a Necronomicon effect when you get down to half red heart. Really not good. Like so much worse than the Polaroid. I don't know how many times that effect like hasn't saved me. I mean, it's not, like, objectively bad, but it's not, like, good at all. Alright, this is the most scary part about this fight. 
Oh god, I did this to myself. Alright, stay frozen. Let it go. Cool. Alright. Take out these fires. And Satan. Really wish I had a map or a compass or something. So I didn't have to roam around here. Being aimlessly lost. Aimlessly wandering, not aimlessly lost. That doesn't make much sense. Uh, Greedhead. Get out of my way. Stay out of my life. Alright, one super greed down. Hey, quarter. That doesn't really help me much. Don't really have much use for money anymore. Unless I get money equals power, which would be nice. But that's that's a stretch. Oh my god, this room sucks. Wow, that's cool. I could do something about that. Huh, at least I got the health back. Kinda. I sorta got it back. Like, technically, yeah, I did get it back. Not the whole heart, but probably being at a half heart is probably better. Even if only by a little bit. Alright. So I'm hoping it's up here. Because then I'd be happy. Because then I'd actually guess it right for once. It looks like this is a promising path, I'd say. Oh, okay. Never mind me. Huh. Maybe it's down. Let's try down. At least you didn't shut down my idea, like, a second into my thinking process. Hey, it actually is down. Cool. Oh, uh, we fight Satan. It's an experience. Start, start with the fallen. Excuse me. Die. Thank you. Whoa, that was close. Almost really dumb. I wonder why you shot forward. I wasn't anywhere near your forward direction. Alright, first foot. Second foot, first foot. Whoa, they're getting really off tune here. I did it. Now we are in the lamb territory. Whew. Alright, so dark room. We'll get telepills and question marks, which I'm probably not going to take. Bombs. Guppy's collar, which is a chance to respawn every time I die. 50% chance, I believe. And I should have probably rerolled it now that I think about it. And god damn it. How do I not see that this was a big room? I just didn't look at my map. That's what I did. That's how I didn't see that this was a big room. Getting boxed in here. Here's one. I really want to take out these super wraths. Because they shoot the troll bombs and those aren't very pleasant. Wish I had like Pyromaniac because this room would be invalid. Unless I just ran into one of them, which would be kind of dumb. This is a huge room. Whoa. There goes one of the super wraths. There goes another mini wrath. Or not mini wrath, regular wrath. Is this other super wrath just like avoiding me on purpose? Alright. So any item chest, or any chest that we will get in the dark room will be items, except for the first four. Those will be red chests. And except if, if you have the, uh... If you have the thing. Darn. If you have the trinket, uh, the left hand, then actually it doesn't make it so that all your chests will give you items. They'll actually be red chests. And that's actually pretty interesting. 
because you wouldn't think that would matter because um all the chests look like red chests in the chest anyway i think so at least there goes one cage so this room is a little more doable Cage, stay away. There you go. Pretty solid room. Or pretty solidly handled room. Uh oh, this room is not very pleasant. That was very close to getting hit myself hit there. So we get the uh Bob's curse, which is five poison bombs. In case you're wondering, yeah, I kinda did forget the name but not like the most important item ever, so try not to blame me for that. Alright, dealt with one wrath. Not wrath, war. That was close, should have paid more attention to that. But it's too late for that, because I already finished the room. Hopefully these guys don't unchain, become Django, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, this is a quality room. Fuck this boss. Like, everything about it, I hate this boss. But, knife makes everything not that bad. Alright, this boss is a nice boss. I like Mega Maw. It's easy, and it, I can't believe I chose the, the wrong way. Did that... It seems so promising. Look, look, look at all the rooms that I did. Wow, how did I not get hit there? I got hit there though, so it makes up for it. Oh my god, this is amazing. Cube of meat saving my life every day. Oh, that was stupid, to say the least. Let's go pick up a heart. Just because I can. Um, any full hearts? If I see another half heart, I'll pick it up. There we go. There's a full heart. I know there's a full heart in one of those rooms, so... That's good. Down, maybe? Oh, never mind then. Not down. Jesus. Alright, Polycephalus, I dislike you very much. We haven't gotten a single item this floor, or a single chest this floor, which means a single item. Alright. Whoa there. Whoa, that one was close too. Should pay a little bit, a bit more attention to where all the other ghosts are. That guy didn't die? I had my knife on him for pretty long. Alright. Sure, I'll take Samson's lock. Every time I get hit, I'll have a chance to uh, do some stuff. To gain some damage to the floor. It's like... Uh, god damn. It's like that other Samson item. Oh my god, this room blows. I can't bomb out of it. What happened to the other wrath? I mean, super wrath. Maybe there's only one. In which case, I'd be a little bit happier. Well, there, there goes the wrath. This is just a double monster two room now. Now it's just a monster two room. Now it's just a a done room. I finished it. Another scent. I love this room. This is a quality room right here. Two slow chubs and a knife. So, I'm pretty much full clearing the chest as of right now. I mean, the chest. I'm sorry. For my incompetence. Wow, I killed one of his legs. I don't think I've done that before. Which is surprising. I don't do that often if I do it at all. Alright. That was that was a nice fallen fight. Cool. Whew. Time to use that, I guess. This is gonna be a pretty interesting lamb fight. 
Not really. I'm doing good damage to him. Oh. Ow. Stay frozen. Alright. Well, now we just have this. Thank you, Gimpy. Appreciate that. I'm getting hit too much. No, I'm fine. Hey, we did it. Unless I died of these flies. It sucked. Ah, that's it. So we finished Isaac on hard mode. Now much else, or not anything else we have to do with Isaac now. Up until I unlock the lost, which at that point I'll be a sad guy. I'll probably avoid doing that until I've unlocked like pretty much every other achievement, because the lost sucks. It's really bad. So we got the lost poster for that, which is supposed to help you unlock the lost, but dumb people looked into the code. Or someone did. One person, I think. And now we know about it. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.